Hey everybody, this is Daryl, a.k.a. The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. Today it is Saturday and, gosh, it's 10.15 in the a.m., which for me is early on a Saturday because I sleep in on Saturdays. But uh, me and one of my friends decided to get up this morning and go to a flea market. So I figured, let me show you guys uh, some of the books I picked up, uh, including um, a pretty good run of books as well. So we start off with a couple of ash can sizes. Uh, I really don't know what these are from, but I saw those and I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick those up and give them a chance. Uh, we have uh, Marvel Comics Presents Spider-Man, Two Spectacular Spider-Man Tales. Uh, and it looks like it came out from 1988. I was like, that's pretty cool. And then they also had Marvel Comics Presents the X-Men. X-Men, they only had one of them. Uh, Spider-Man, look, I had to backwards. Spider-Man, uh, they had uh, about four or five of them. And I was like, I'll, I'll go ahead and take one of those as well since I'm getting the X-Men. So, I mean, why not get those? Again, they're both from uh, 1988. Uh, Marvel Entertainment Group. Uh, it also says Hasbro Inc. on it. So I don't know. I really don't know where these come from. But buck a piece. I went and picked those up. Next. Let's see. We'll start off with this one. It is Storm number one. Now, that was pretty cool. Uh, it is a newsstand edition. So I was like, eh, go ahead and pick that up. One of my favorite Green Lantern covers by Daryl Banks. I've gotten to meet him a couple times, and I, I love this cover. Again, also a newsstand edition. So I was like, I'll go ahead and pick that up. There you go. I, I love this cover. When I, uh, I was talking to him in Charlotte at Heroes Con, I was kind of jokingly saying, this kind of reminds me of uh, Booker T. Five-time, five-time, five-time world champion. <laughs> he was like, that's hilarious, dude. There you go. So that was pretty cool. And one more newsstand edition. It is um, Spider-Man number 51. At last, Spider-Man's clone swings into action. Uh, nice hollow foil cover there. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh, it was actually in a box upside down when I first saw it. I was like, is that Spider-Ham? It's not Spider-Ham. <laughs> but I thought that's pretty cool. These are kind of hard to find newsstand edition. So I went ahead and picked that up. Next, uh, Batman number 484. I'm pretty sure I already have this one, but I just, I love the cover. There you go. Uh, next is Bloodshot number six. I've already got it, but you know, another first appearance of a uh, Ninjak or Ninja K, depending on what day it is. <laughs> so I figured go ahead and pick that one up again. Uh, then this one, Ghost Rider number 16. Ah, uh, this is a great cover. So yeah, I went and picked that up too. Awesome cover. There we go. And last but not least, uh, ride number zero uh, in a dollar bin. First appearance of Bloodshot. So finally have this one. Can't believe I found it in a dollar bin. So heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, now I picked up this really great run of books. We'll start off with The Batman Adventures number one. These were, this was not a dollar lot. I'll let you guys know that. So, uh, number two. Number three with this awesome Joker cover. There we go. Number four. And we 
again. Number five. Some of these I already had, had but I was like, you got a straight run of them. Let's go ahead and pick up uh, as many as I can get. Number six. There you go. You know, and I actually meant to wear my Batman Adventure shirt when I was doing this one, but oh well. Hmm. There's this one. I don't... I don't know if this is... Is this number seven? I think so. I have to look that one up. See if that's number seven. Number eight... There we go. Number nine. Stay up. Number ten. At this point, the tension is starting to mount, isn't it? Number eleven. I believe I actually had the first 11 issues of this run. And number 13. Number 13. <laughs> I know, right? Number 14. Win original Batman Adventures art. I would love to win that. Uh, number 15. Number 16. More Joker on there. Number 17. Number 18. Number a nineteen. <laughs> That's a great cover. Number twenty. Number twenty one. Number twenty two. pretty awesome almost at the end well not quite almost number 23 that's a nice ivy cover that's nice number 24 number 25 I've actually not never seen that one I'm sure it's out there plenty. I just haven't haven't seen it. Number 26. Batman Family. Batgirl Robin. Number 27. Batman punching a hole in Batman's chest. Uh, this one right here was actually not in the run, but... I already had it, so number 28. So I put that in here with it. Number 29 with Razal. Number 30. And all these are in, um, I would say, at, at minimum, probably uh, very fine and up. Number 31. Number 32. Number 33. Number 34. Number 35. And number 36. So, 
Oh, we did have this one other one too. Number 12. First appearance of Harley Quinn. Finally in my collection. Finally. Oh, and it's in this nice Mylar bag too. <laughs> uh, big shout out to one of my good friends, uh, Schnickety Schnicked Ricky, uh, for hooking me up with this series, this entire run. So finally I have first appearance of Harley Quinn in my set, along with the uh, entire run of the Batman Adventures. Uh, it's one of those books I've been looking for for a long time. I was like, eh, good luck me ever finding it for a decent price and got it for a real good price. Um, yeah, very, very good price. So the last, I'd say, really big issue of Harley that I need is uh, the Harley Quinn uh, one shot from 1999. I do have a, a reprint that came out in 2014 with that beautiful Alex Ross cover, but that's uh, pretty much the last big Harley Quinn book I need. Uh, I mean, there's some variants that came later on that I would like to get. Uh, there's a, was it Adam Hughes? I believe an Adam Hughes variant of uh, Harley Quinn number one from the New 52 run. I would like to get that, but that's pretty expensive. Um, so I may have to wait on that. Uh, then there's also a sketch version of that one as well. But for the most part, that's pretty much the last big Harley Quinn book. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked, pretty excited about it. Again, thanks Ricky for hooking me up on a, on a great book. Man, I appreciate it. Um, so it was a good day. It was a good day to get up early. But that's all I got, and you guys, have an incredible day.